So the other night, I went over to the St. Regis Hotel over here on Longboat Key, and a really interesting situation occurred. When I pulled up, the valet said, it's $35, sir. However, if you have this card stamped at the bar or at a restaurant, it'll only be $10. See, he stated the $35 price for parking. However, let us know that it'll be discounted to $10. Now the $10 didn't seem so bad. I could have said, oh, geez, $10, because everyone else five usually. Okay, so they're 10. But to make that 10 feel less expensive, they use the number of $35, which is overnight parking for the hotel. Fair enough. So I thought about this and it reminded me of when I had this one bride, I'll never forget this, and she came over, her father was very uh, prominent in town and she wanted she was to have a beautiful wedding. I've got a pretty good staff. I feel very confident they can handle anything that comes their way. Well, when they were waiting on this bride, she says, or the father said, we don't want to spend more than 150 maybe $200. Well, they kept making arrangements, right? They made one, they made another, they found out what she likes and this and that. Next thing you know, the first time didn't work. The second meeting didn't work. All of a sudden, now they're disappointed. Their father calls me up and says, Artie, what's going on? We've been customers for so many years. It seems like you're losing a step here. What's going on? You know, you guys have always been the best and doesn't like anything that anyone's presenting to her. Well, I saw the arrangements that were presented and I said, I got it. Could I meet with you one more time? Could you possibly come over Saturday? So he came over Saturday morning with his daughter. I went in the back early in the morning and we worked on the arrangement designer. He said, Artie, what are you doing? This is going to be way too expensive said, we're losing this bride at this point. Let's do what I think we're going to be very happy with. So we put the bouquet together and I presented it. And what did we get? Oh my goodness, Artie, I love it. Thank you. You saved the day. My designer's going, oh yeah? Well, anyway, I said, but I've got good news and I've got bad. All right, she says. So what's the good news? The good news is you love the bouquet. Great. The bad news is it's $600. Oh, I know you're going to need about 18 to 20 for those tables. That kind of volume, I can pre-order. I think we can try to save and get the price down for you. I can most likely get these done for $400 each and you'll have a dream wedding. Oh my gosh, you'll do that for me? I said, absolutely. The father shook my hand. We booked the wedding. It was $8,000 just in the centerpieces. The point is, when you want to sell up, go to the very top and then come down. Now you've got more margin to work with and I hope you can use this in your store. I hope this will help you. It's a different way of thinking. Don't climb up. Open the door. Come up with what you're looking for and shoot high and drop down just a little bit. The truth is everybody has a budget no matter what the wedding. So anybody that says I couldn't get any more, they're all on a tight budget. Or by the time they come to you, they say we're on a tight budget. Everyone's on a budget. Point is can you show the bride what she really likes? Number one, it's you. They have trust you. You have to be honest. Number two, they want to see what they're looking for. So at a $600 bouquet, I've got enough margin to bring that down to $400. And they're still going to get a beautiful bouquet and I know they're going to be thrilled with it. But I just don't have a lot of room at $200 considering the size and the type flowers you want. I hope this helps you and you'll use it. And leave me a message. Tell me what you think. Thanks. And be sure to like and subscribe. I'd like to send you more information like this. It's all free.